inside three, they'll be dangerous. That pass was a good one, although Bartlett just had his hand in there to tap it away. It's just a three-point game. The tight fans fighting their way back. They've scored the last four points in this quarter. Pass to Wilson. Shot clock ticking down. Outside is Williams. Travel called on Travel Wilson. Was cool. See the shot clock from this angle. I need it just a little bit bigger. I'm an old man now, Shane. I know the feeling. <laughs> I'm right there with you. <laughs> Here's Lish to Toby. Still 11 points that margin. No hand in, no hand in, no hand in. Spread of scorers for the tight pants. Five for Kevin Lish. Here's Bartlett. Loves to drive. He lost the handle of that one, though. And just threw it out into a bit of open space. Toby tried to keep it in play. It'll go the tight pants way. Hill. Good speed from Hill. Floater, that was nice. No one came to him and he just dropped it over the top. Great play by Brad Hill at six foot eight. He's certainly got the ability to be able to take it off the dribble. Oh, they're just losing control of the ball so easily. The Wildcats in there in a little bit of trouble now. As the foul's going to be called though on Williams. It's not the Wildcats we're used to, is it? To just a little dribble and then fumble and moving on the ball. Here it is now. Bartlett gave it to Wagstaff and just lost control of it. 14. I'm going on the other yeah, side. certainly not the, the Perth Wildcats that easy, easy, you easy. expect to be playing on the road and, again, taking the emotion out of the game. And that's sort of the thing sometimes when you're playing so emotionally on defence, it's then hard to settle it down and have to play with a lot more poise on, on offence, as we see. But is that their eighth or ninth turnover? Ninth. Ninth turnover in the first quarter. We haven't finished the first quarter. That was a travel for Bartlett. Well, the other thing is they've been unforced. I mean, right there, that was an unforced error. So the Taipans with a chance to take the lead in this game Good. after trailing earlier on. Around seven points, here's Williams. Gets away from Bartlett into Loughton. Nice aggression from Alex Loughton. Took on the big man and put it in off the glass. They have now the lead to Taipans, 12-11. Toby moving into the front court quickly. He'll go to the low post. Neville, oh, just too tall. No chance to do anything more than just see that ball go over your head and into the basket. Hands need to come back and they need to isolate Neville again. They need to get to the basket. Here's Grabeau from outside three. Had a chance and he said, I'll take it. Three-pointer for Aaron Grabeau. It's a two-point margin. The tight fans 15, the Wildcats 13. Williamson takes on Dowdell. Oh. Good defence though in the end from Dowdell, but Williamson made the basket and drew the foul. He'll go to the line to make it a three point play. That is a tough basket. I thought he was going to use his step back going left. Up fake, step through Dowdell and made a tough one. Down for three. Had a shocker last night. Uh, four points for Drew Williamson and uh, none from five from the three point line. Usually a bit of a uh, on target shooter from outside the three point line. So well, he plays that role though that he can come on and get hot. Other games he's, he's not hot, but it doesn't necessarily hurt the team. He, he can add something and a big spark off the bench, but he's not somebody they rely on. Here's Williams to Grabeau. Can he hit another three? No. Ways to set it up. Never George will get it at the top. Bartlett just testing him out. So we're seeing a lot of the bench players getting action. George, nice play to Dowdell. The loose pass was trapped by Williams. He'll go for the jumper at the top of the key. He'll get it back again. Chance to set it up. No, he was keen to go on. Then he ran into a brick wall. It was Neville. George. Gets through the traffic nicely from Deborah George in the end. It didn't drop and Neville has hauled down another rebound. Couple for him, the big man for the Wildcats. There's a foul off the ball. Loughton and Wagstaff having his push and shove. That's not right. I'm talking about your absolute Stop it. If he wanted to have an impact against his old side, wanted to come back and play for the Cats a couple of seasons ago, but there was no room. And here it is, Shane. Just be mindful of how you talk to the guy on the ground, all right? I'm just, I'm just talking about contact. Of course, you know, was there? It was just 
Bit of holding on and fell to the ground. Alex, I'm coming to talk yeah. to you. Okay. So 16-15 is the score. The Wildcats lead it by one, and Wagstaff has a couple of shots from the foul line. Sorry, mate, I was just trying to listen to the referees and the emotion of it all. I don't think Alex Loughton did anything. <laughs> oh, I think they're on him because he said something to Wagstaff on the ground. <laughs> Loughton, a little bit of passion, boys. That's what we want to see. So Wagstaff will hit the one. From the foul line, to make it a two-point ball game. We've got 27 seconds, so possession each for both sides. So we count it down to quarter time. Hops give it a jump from Williams. Looks fancy. Robbins has got him trapped at the moment. The clock ticking down. The pass to Dowdell outside, and then the inside down to the low post. Lauten up against Robbins. He'd like that matchup, but didn't make the basket. Took away though, unless Wagstaff can get rid of it. To Bartlett, outside the three, it was too late though, the shots. And that will be the quarter time score. The Wildcats starting okay, 17, the Taipans 15. It's nice and tight here at Cairns. In a psych smackdown, John Cena's action never taps out. It's one of 11 weapons on my person. Anybody want to find where they're hidden? Brand new Psych, 7.30 tonight on One. Then, they murdered a close friend. Now, it's time for Michael Weston to serve up his own special kind of payback. New Burn Notice, 8.30 tonight on One. Hello, madam. Interested in a parrot, puppy or bunny? Maybe something more unusual. Follow me. <laughs> Do you have any pigs that fly? <laughs> Bruce has escaped! <laughs> can I forgo? Sure, but stay where I can see you. With this month's Happy Meal, discover an Oozles toy to enjoy with your delicious seared chicken snack wrap. We're looking at home loans now. <laughs> they are so expensive. The banks just see it as a number. Mate, have a chat to Rams. You see, their home loan experts are all locals from your community, and they've always kept their standard variable rate lower than the big four banks. So you know it's a great deal. Really? That's the naked truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Low rates, local experts. Call 13 Rams or jump online. Rams, simply better. The new Motorola Razr is here, and it's available at TeleChoice now. It's super slim, made from Kevlar fibre, with a dual-core processor, an 8-megapixel camera with HD video, has a super AMOLED screen, and it's splash-proof. It's faster, thinner, smarter, stronger than any other Motorola. And it's available right now for zero up front on the $59 Optus Cap plan over 24 months. So get into TeleChoice and check out the all-new Motorola Razr. TeleChoice, the people's choice. Welcome back. 17 15 to score. The Wildcats lead it by two here in Cairns. Rocky Reed alongside Shane Hill in commentary. And we're hoping for a little bit more special basketball than the sloppy first quarter we saw from both sides, especially the Wildcats. Shane, nine turnovers in that first term. There'll be a foul. Well, it certainly well. wasn't what we expect from Good the job, Perth man. Wildcats. I mean, they're the championship favourite. They've probably got the most talent in the competition. Coming off a loss last night, we expected them to be a lot more focused and to be able to execute a little bit better than what they have so far. I'm sure that will come. Score so far, Kevin Lish with five points for the Wildcats, three for Williamson, four for Matt Knight. As the basket goes up, Loughton tried to keep it to their advantage, but Robbins swooped on it to Wagstaff. To Williamson in the corner. Nice passing from the Wildcats. It's now with Neville up against Crosby. Oh, he goes with the left hand hook shot outside the key. It was adventurous as Williams gra Williamson grabs hold of it and they'll reset again. Oh, and now decides to take the long bomb. Well done by Neville. Over the top. Can he knock it back into the glass? No, he can't. And it's still a Wildcats ball. Just checking the scorers again. Four points to Brad Hill and twos for Loughton, Crosby, Dowdell, and also Wilson. Quick shot from Williamson after they got the offensive rebound. I guess when you've got that confidence with Neville under the basket with the offensive rebounds, then you can let it rip. He just read the play well last night. Luke Neville just felt like he started to settle into this team and know what his role is as Robbins takes on Rabot. The pass went off Crosby's leg. And oh, 
also Robbins. And another turnover. Would that be 10? Double figures. Double figures, and we've gone just over a quarter in this game. Still a two-point ball game. Haven't scored in this term. Williams. Outside three down now to Loughton up against Robbins. And a nice basket and a foul as well from Brad Robbins. He's in a little bit of trouble, I would have to say. I think that's his third. He is his third. Now, that's a better take by Alex Loughton. He got the ball in the post. He didn't settle for the fadeaway jump hook. He actually put his nose in the, in the, in the uh, paint and got there with an aggressive play. And it helped him make the basket and to get the three-point play. So, a big decision here for Rob Beveridge. His point guard's in a bit of foul trouble. And they don't really have an absolute backup point guard. Everard Bartlett, maybe Ken Toby, maybe Kevin Lees can run it, but they're not pure points. Wagstaff on the post against George. Nice move from Wagstaff. Little two for him. Still two points to Wildcats. And that's a good point. Rob Beveridge came out and said that Kevin Lish is the best import in the competition. And don't blame him. He's not far from it. But one of the things that would be the criticism, I think, is he can't really play the point guard spot in this situation. And you don't probably want him to either, do you? You want him to score 19 points as, a, as the shooting guard, as the two-man. Well, the problem is they, they need him now. He, he really needs to be that point guard, but they're going to hand the duties to Cam Tovey, who's six foot eight. It's <laughs> not a bad point guard. Well, as long as he makes the right decisions, I guess it's okay. He's got it now, Cam Tovey. What can he do? He showed good skills anyway. Williamson is aggressive and scores the basket as well. So a nice start for him after no three-pointers last night and just four points. Williamson already at five points and a chance to go to six with a free throw. I like this attack on the basket, being able to get there, not just settling for the three-point shot, because things haven't been going right for the Wildcats. He was aggressive to the basket and got rewarded for it. And of course, the Wildcats made a change from their team last night. They brought over Jeremiah Truman, who didn't play last night. Greg Hyatt played, and Truman comes into the side, and Hyatt sits out. So, just a change. He's going a little bit bigger with Truman. It's Wilson. Gives it to Loughton. Now to Crosswhite. George wants it behind him. A little carry there from Crosswhite. 22-17 is the score. The Cats out by five. Loughton up against... Oh, beautiful pass from Alex Loughton. And the foul will go against Luke Neville. He tapped it away, but there's a bit of contact as well. Good poise by Loughton. He almost waited for the defence to send a double team and then looked... And found Crosswhite with a good cut to the basket. And two fouls for Luke Neville. Got in a little bit of trial, foul trouble last week. Forget set. Sat down with five. And he'll sit down now and rest up as Jeremiah Truman, the man we were talking about, comes on the court for his first piece of the action. Look, you've got to question Aaron Fern and, and, and what he will be looking at. Uh, with their import situation. They're obviously not getting much from Warren. He scored a total of three points in two home games here. They really need somebody that can put points on the board. Good he scored nothing. He's got all zeros, donuts all the way along, and he's got two fouls right at the end of the uh, 